Let's check in with opening day for the Atlantic League's newest experiment. Last night, they put the mound in uh, the pitching rubber of back a foot at West Virginia. They, for some reason or another, misment read the memo. They did it a day early, but ultimately it didn't matter because the game got rained out after they started. So the first official pitch from 61 feet 6 inches will be Zach Smith with his first delivery here tonight. Southern Maryland bolted out to a 16 to nothing lead by the end of two and a half innings. First pitch strike. So, so far so good from 61 feet 6 inches. We'll take it. It is nothing and one on James Harris. So Zach Smith is a pioneer. He will always be remembered for this. It'll be a trivia question from here on out. Ball is low, and the count is even at one ball and one strike. Uh, and, you know, you kind of hit the nail on the head as far as my thought process with that move of the mound. My concern is <clears throat> the potential injuries to the pitchers. That is that is what the study dispelled. They said it will not add any injuries. We'll see. Again, I, how do you <clears throat> replicate game did, action? And that, right. Did they do it actually with somebody on the mound and pitching? or are you going strictly on analytics? Because let's face it, these guys, it's muscle memory of 60 feet, six inches ever since they've been throwing a baseball. You know, that's a very good point. How can you have on the field data for injuries if you've never thrown from this distance before? I guess we'll have to wait a few months to see if anyone gets hurt. And so this in conjunction with the ABS is gonna be very interesting to see how the second half plays out. Speaking of the ABS, the automated ball strike system, I wonder how it's doing in this game. Doug McFarlane calling balls and strikes tonight, and he is actually calling balls and strikes. Issues with the ABS? Oh no! Happy opening day, everyone!